Hi, I'm Nick. Today, I'm going to show you how to install an Easy Can on R Series BMWs that are equipped with the oil cooled boxer engine. This includes the R1200R, the R1200R Classic, the R1200S, the R1200ST, the R1200RT, the R1200GS, the R1200GS Adventure, the HP2 Enduro, and the HP2 Megamoto. To install an Easy Can on any oil cooled R series BMW, consider the accessories you want to mount and where you want to mount them. And make sure you assign the right accessories to the right power output channels. The type and number of accessories you want to use will affect your installation and will also affect the way you set the power output channels during configuration. The Easy Can has four power output channels. Two channels are capable of powering high power accessories, and two are capable of powering low power accessories. However, you can adjust the maximum power that is used by each accessory, and you do not have to use any power output channel that you don't need. You have three options for installation and configuration of your accessories. For each option, the accessories connected to each channel are activated by the relevant control. To give two examples, if you select the second channel mapping option, the red high power channel can only be activated by pressing the horn button. And if you select the third channel mapping option, the yellow low power channel can only be activated by using the brake levers. When you install accessories according to any of the three configuration options, note these important points. When a power output channel is assigned to the horn, the accessory can only be activated by pressing the horn button. When a power output channel is assigned to a switched accessory, the accessory will receive power when the ignition is switched on. Power to the accessory will be cut after the set timeout limit. When a power output channel is assigned to one or more than one accessory spotlight, the relevant channel or channels will be powered whenever the ignition switch is on. You can also use the EasyCan software to set the spotlight brightness limits for both day and night. When a power output channel is assigned to an auxiliary brake light, the channel can only be activated by using the brake levers. Make a note of the power draw of each accessory. The power draw figure is usually marked on the packaging. Note that a low power accessory is anything that will draw a continuous current of up to 4 amps, such as an auxiliary brake light or a GPS satellite navigation unit. A high power accessory is anything that will draw a continuous current of up to 10 amps, such as a set of LED spotlights, or a maximum of 25 amps for no more than 20 seconds, such as a high power air horn. Wherever possible, you may want to hide the wiring for the accessories under the body panels. This is to prevent any damage to the wiring, to prevent any wiring runs from being too long or too short, and to get a professional looking result. Also, if the accessory needs to be installed out of sight, consider the size of the accessory. For example, it may be difficult to fit physically large accessories like air horns underneath body panels. Park the motorcycle on its center stand. Remove the rear and then the front seats. On all oil-cooled R-Series models, the battery is located under the rider's seat, just behind the fuel tank. Disconnect the battery wiring harness terminals from the battery. Always disconnect the negative terminal first. This is to help prevent sparks from igniting any flammable gas. Remove the Easy Can from its packaging. Note the length of the wiring harness and the number and types of terminal plugs. I'll explain these as we go along. Install the main body of the Easy Can under the seats by using the Velcro strips supplied with the kit. On R1200R, R1200S, R1200ST, R1200RT and all HP2 models, you will see the DWA or anti-theft alarm system connections in the small compartment under the rear half of the seat in front of the tail light. Note the wiring harness plug connected to the DWA module. If your R1200GS or R1200GS Adventure model is equipped with DWA, you must remove the plastic luggage rack located under the rear seat to access the DWA module. If your motorcycle does not have a DWA system, the end of the wiring harness plug will be covered by a plastic blanking plug containing an alarm terminating resistor. 
Disconnect the wiring harness plug from the DWA module, or remove the plastic blanking plug from the wiring harness plug. If your motorcycle has a DWA system, connect the female EasyCan CAN bus terminal to the DWA module. Then, connect the male EasyCan CAN bus terminal to the motorcycle wiring harness plug. If your motorcycle does not have a DWA system, connect the male EasyCan CAN bus terminal to the motorcycle wiring harness plug. Then, connect the motorcycle's blanking plug to the female EasyCan CAN bus terminal. Do not connect the male or female EasyCan CAN bus terminals to any other component or to any other part of the motorcycle's wiring harness. If you do, the EasyCan will not function. The EasyCan kit includes eight stub connectors with male terminals. Four of the stub connectors have three wires each, while the remaining four connectors have two wires each. To find the best length for the cabling runs, install all your accessories on the motorcycle in their planned locations. Then, measure how much extra electrical wire you will need to connect each accessory to the EasyCan when the extra wire is connected to each stub connector. If you need to, you can extend a stub connector by adding more wiring between the wiring of the accessory and the relevant stub connector. Insulate the soldered joins using nylon heat shrink tubing. When joining the wires, pay attention to the polarity of the power cabling. Most accessories use red cables for 12 volt positive and black or brown cabling for ground or earth. If you're unsure, contact the manufacturer of the accessory for help. Decide which power output channels are going to power which accessories and connect the stub connectors to the accessories accordingly. Note that all stub connector terminals are numbered. Terminal 1 is always the 12 volt positive supply terminal. Terminal 2 is always the ground terminal. If the stub connector has three wires, Terminal 3 is always the control terminal. Note that the color of the relevant 12 volt positive supply wire is always the same as the color code of the equivalent power output channel. If your spotlights are equipped with a third wire for light intensity control, connect the spotlight control wire to Terminal 3 of the stub connector. If the spotlight only has two wires, use a two-terminal stub connector. If you're not going to use one or more of the power output channels, install a blanking plug over the unused output. The EasyCan kit contains two blanking plugs. Find the standard BMW horn on your motorcycle. On all oil-cooled R-Series models, the horn is located underneath the headlight or front fairing, near the telelever suspension strut or telescopic forks. If you remove the standard BMW horn, the EasyCan can still control an accessory horn. However, removing the standard horn is not recommended, as it will cause the motorcycle to log a fault code. The EasyCan kit contains a horn harness with one terminal pin, branching out to two sets of two terminal pins. You only need to install the horn harness if you are fitting one or more accessory horns. If accessory horns are fitted without fitting the horn harness, the accessory horns will not function, the strobe when horn active feature will be disabled, and the motorcycle may also log horn-related fault codes. Connect the end of the green wire with one terminal pin to the one-pin terminal on the EasyCan. Disconnect the motorcycle's horn connection from the standard horn. Connect the male two-pin plug of the horn harness to the horn connection on the BMW wiring harness. Connect the female two-pin plug of the horn harness to the standard BMW horn. If you want to install an accessory horn, connect the accessory horn to the chosen high power output stub connector and connect the stub connector to the correct power output plug on the EasyCan. For best reliability, connect the stub connectors to the wiring of your accessories by soldering the wires and insulate the soldered joins using nylon heat shrink tubing. Route both the EasyCan power supply cables forward along the motorcycle's rear subframe to the battery. Connect the orange power supply cable to the battery positive terminal. Connect the brown EasyCan power supply cable to the battery negative terminal. Make sure that both battery terminals are securely tightened. It's very important to make sure that your installation will be 100% reliable. Wherever possible, make sure that the EasyCan wiring runs alongside existing electrical wiring. Use the cable ties to fasten all wiring. Make sure that you mount the EasyCan fuse holder in a location that is easy to reach. This fuse holder will be secured near the battery positive terminal. Fasten the cable ties by pulling the loose end until there is slight resistance. When a cable tie is tightened, you should just be able to rotate it. If the insulation of the wiring has distorted, the cable tie is too tight. 
cut that tie and use another one to secure the wiring. The next step is to program the Easy Cans control your accessories in the way you want it to. To do this, refer to the configuration video on hexeasycan.com. On R1200GS and R1200GS Adventure models, reinstall the plastic luggage rack. If you had to remove any body panels to install accessories, reinstall the panels. Reinstall the front and then the rear seats. The motorcycle is ready to ride. Thanks for watching. You can find the video on how to configure and operate your EasyCan at www.hexeasycan.com.